hidden cavity disc can't be flood gray, revealing magma flow dynamics and new risk management tools. A study published in Nature Communications Earth and Environment reveals the presence of a deep resonant fault beneath the Naples caldera. The Campi Flegre caldera is a large volcanic complex located in the densely populated Gulf of Naples, Italy. Since 2005, the land there has been uplifting, accompanied by earthquakes of increasing magnitude. The current differential uplift is approximately 1.4 meters, while the maximum magnitude earthquake, MD 4.6, occurred just a few weeks ago, on June 30, 2025. Seismicity and ground deformation are associated with the degassing magma source and the subsequent interaction between magmatic and hydrothermal fluids, but the details and geometry of the seismogenic structure remain a matter of debate. Now, an international team of researchers from the University of Pisa, Italy, the Istituto Nazionale di Geofilica e Volcanologia, INGV, and the GFZ Helmholtz Geosciences Center, Germany, has investigated several volcano tectonic earthquakes at Campi Flegre, which have occurred over the past 10 years. The seismological study employed advanced earthquake source characterization techniques. The study provides the first evidence of very long period VLP signals at Campi Flegre, reporting over a dozen VLPs with durations of approximately 60 to 120 seconds and a dominant frequency of approximately 0.11 Hz since 2018. The VLPs occur beneath CO2 emissions at Solfatara in response to volcano tectonic earthquakes. VLP source components and resonance processes are occasionally observed at other volcanoes, but have never been detected before at Campi Flegre. We interpret the VLP signal as the resonance of one or more fluid-filled structures, such as fractures, that connect the source of deformation at depth with the location of fumaroles at the surface. These oscillating gas-filled structures offer pathways for degassing with a reciprocal interaction between fluid ascent, shallow fractures, and resonance processes, said Giacomo Rapagnani, first author of the study and a PhD student at the University of Pisa, funded by an INGV scholarship. The waveforms and spectra of the VL have been remarkably similar in recent years. This indicates that the geometry and conditions of the resonance source remain quite stable, and we see no clear indications of substantial changes in the physical properties of the fluids that sustain the resonance, said Simone Cheska. These observations underline the relevance of the results obtained for tracking the dynamic evolution of volcanoes, although further investigations are needed to better constrain the physical processes governing such systems, said Gilberto Saccarati of the INGV. This study highlights how the development and application of advanced techniques for seismological data analysis Only by pushing the limits of our ability to analyze large amounts of heterogeneous data can we improve our understanding of these phenomena and mitigate the associated risks more effectively, said Francesco Grigoli, professor of geophysics at the University of Pisa.